these tests that we're trying to do here are, are battery abusive tests uh, where we expose a battery to um, indirect fire in order to be able to evaluate its, its, its performance characteristics. Uh, we are testing to um, an SAE standard, so it's Society of Automotive Engineers Standards J2464. And the actual test that we are performing is the high temperature hazard test. The way these tests are performed is that they are exposed to an indirect, indirect fire and they will actually be placed inside um, a particular container, some, something that we call a black body. And we will actually expose the black body to a specific type of temperature. Uh, for this case, it ends up being at 890 centigrade and we have to be able to achieve that in 90 seconds. After we achieve that temperature, we actually have to hold it for 10 minutes or until something happens. The benefit for a client to actually run one of these tests is for them to be able to understand uh, the, the performance of their actual battery and how it reacts to a simulated exposure fire. Uh, these, are, uh, these tests are very uh, difficult to control. Uh, there is no pass-fail criteria, but they at least are able to understand how the, the sample is going to fail and does it consistently fail in the matter that it was designed to fail. These, te these particular tests are, are done in, for many uh, applications uh, in battery industry. Uh, one of the main ones happens to be the automotive industry, and especially right now with all the current technologies with uh, hybrid electric vehicles or full electric vehicles. So we will actually test the full battery packs or the four full or, or hybrid electric vehicles. Uh, so that's a very, very key player in the industry. You will actually also test for uh, energy storage, uh, such as uh, um, uh, grid tie systems. Uh, they can also be used for any other system that's being used for, for a battery that requires some sort of an abusive test to be able to analyze its performance.